everyone. I am down here at the chicken house and I have been researching uh, making my own chicken feed. My chickens do not seem to eat that egg layer pellets that you buy from your local store, either MFA or Shalom. They don't seem to like any of it. But I'm thinking if your daily diet consists of these little pellets that you eat every day, same old little dried pellets, maybe it's starting to get a little old. So the main thing is to keep track of the um, percentage. You know, the egg layer that I buy is usually 16%, 18%. Sometimes I add wild game bird feed, which is higher in percentage. So the main thing is make sure you're getting the right percentage. Mainly what I have seen on YouTube is mixing corn, whole or cracked, I bought whole, oats, or wheat, uh, Milo, they did call for um, some stuff that I couldn't find, you know, and, and um, flaxseed was one of them, and that's like $50 a bag, so, but anyway, most of them are oats, Milo, corn, and sunflower seeds, and the sunflower seeds are high in protein, so, and then you add maybe whatever you need. I, I also noticed that I'm talking about diatomaceous earth, D-E, and you sprinkle, oh, oh, two or three tablespoons of that in, and that is supposed to help with worms, if your chickens have worms. And um, so anyway, I have been, I've got one, two, three, four, five barrels mixed up with different stuff. This one over here is just straight sunflower seeds, because I feed that to the birds also. Um, this one here is one that's already, I've been mixing it. The only thing it does not have in it, if you can see this, it does not have any wheat in it. And some of them talk about adding um, soy meal. <clears throat> and I plan on getting some wheat and some soy meal. But um, apparently the four main things is your oats, um, your sunflower seeds, your milo, and your corn. And I have all four of those. And then mix in some di diatomaceous earth. So I've done that. Um, and again, they just stress making sure that your percentages are up there. This is what oats look like for anybody that's city slicker like me. These are your oats. Um, you know what sunflowers look like. Cracked corn. This is like little cracked corn. I think a little tiny chicken could eat that. One of the things, and, and I'm still gonna give them their egg layer pellets, put it over there in their container, but um, if they wanna eat it. Another thing they stress, make sure they have oyster shells and your grit. Oyster shells, I think, is for the calcium in the eggs. But um, but this this combo says that they should uh, resume their egg laying. Like today, I only got two eggs, which, you know, we're in the middle of winter, and it's cold, and so maybe that's why they're cutting off, and some of them are older hens anyway. Um, the another thing they said that I'm going to think about here... I have been, because it's winter, I have been feeding my chickens inside the enclosed pen, and it's just convenient for me. But they say your chickens can get lazy if you're not careful with them doing that. They'll sit on the roost, and then you bring their food in, and they just walk over there and eat whatever they want, and then they go back and hop on the roost. Where if you throw it outside, then they have to scratch and dig for it a little bit. So I'm thinking I need to start throwing it back outside and getting it to where they're getting a little more active and um, won't get egg bound apparently. I'm learning all kinds of new stuff on YouTube. But anyway, so mixing up my own chicken feed. One of the things I read on my extra egg layer prefab pellets, stuff that I don't even know what it is. I'm sure some of it's good, but um, crude protein, lysine, methanine, crude fat, crude fiber, calcium, um, phosphorus, salt, mag manganese. So, a bunch of stuff I can't even pronounce. But anyway, I'm just thinking, you know, at least your fresh grains. <clears throat> and I'm gonna talk to some of my neighbors at farm and see about maybe even buying some of their grains from them. 
Um, so I'm thinking this is gonna be a better option, mixing my own fresh grains. Um, and then, you know, I also bought them some mealworms, which is rather expensive, a little bag's like $25 for a little bag, and giving them treats. But um, again, make sure your protein level's up in whatever you feed them. Make sure they have um, grit or oyster shells available. They say they will eat them if they need them. And um, make sure they've got, they've got plenty of water. And I think I am gonna start feeding them outside so that they're forced to go outside